Welcome to the stage of history. This is Muta that and uh, hello everybody hello to you it's a Friday night it's um February the 14th I think that means it's um what is it oh yeah Valentine's Day something like that it was Valentine's Day yesterday for some reason on Twitter um so yeah let's uh, do the usual thing and say hello to everybody who is in the chat hello to Peter Hydra Life Tubrins, born distracted. What do I mean by taking your picks? Picks, P I C K S, not picks. I'm not taking your bloody picks. Why would I want to take your pick? Um, David Coe, Marcus M, Michael Jensen, Ian Bachelor, Anthony Roberts, David M. Roberts online, Grim177, David Coe, Bad Gargoyle, Deluxe 7, Proj, is that Pete Proj, Gila, Hypnotoad, Burba Cat, Greg Little, Chumpy Man, William Cross, Lots of good people here. So, it is a request night. I do believe that Soph will be joining us as soon as is likely. Um, I hope so, anyway, because I did advertise her as coming on. So, yes, apparently Man City has been um, have been fucked. So, <laughs> that's, uh, that's quite funny, isn't it? Unless you're a Man City fan. Um, I wouldn't know anything about European football. I support South and United. So, yeah. So, um, yes, please get your requests in. It's uh, the usual stuff. Uh, PlayStation is back on the menu. I managed to fix it. If you watched the last stream, I couldn't use the shoulder buttons or anything, so that was annoying. Um, we got all the usual stuff. So, yeah, all should be good. Where's Fear? She should be coming soon, hopefully. I shall no doubt get the um, beeping on Skype unless she's fallen asleep or something. <clears throat> no, so if you want a refund, well, fuck you. Yeah. Then that's my 
put middle names, first middle name Ne, second name Refunds, sorry. Um, hello Zustaz, Rainer, What, Luke Wood, Emma Taylor, Demon Alba, Born Distracted. Well, let us continue. Requests for Contra on the CPC, Rick Dangerous 2, Gods. I'm guessing you just mean Gods, not Gods. There is no street version of Gods by the Bitmap Brothers. Um, <clears throat> yes, I thought it was Amy Pearl. That's from Parks and Rec, isn't it? Kyuta Suzuki Inside Angel. I literally played that today. Because um, I'm for my next video. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. Tempest XV on PS1. Raid on Bungling Bay. Noel Gallagher's going to be pissed. Well, like, he'd probably be that anyway, wouldn't he? In Hold of Man City's Fall, play Man United in Europe for the Amiga. <laughs> it's only rock and roll on the ZX Spectrum. That game's dreadful, Proch. The Biz is a lot better. They're not exactly stream friendly games. Call Borders 2. Two players in a crisis. Don't unfortunately have that because I've got emulators here. Contra Alien Wars. That's a bit of a classic. I'm trying to figure out something that I haven't really played that much. Um, Contra on the CPC was suggested. Um, hopefully that won't be too hard to get up, actually. Something a bit different already. I kind of need to get an Amstrad emulator going for this. Um, shouldn't be a trouble. Something, hopefully. Hold on a second. Hold on, what the f what's going on? Um, huh? Why why aren't you on that window? Bear with us. Um, I'm just trying to sort this out. <laughs> Okay, that's where I want it. Why are you trans... Let's go between those two fins. There we go, that's better. <coughs> there that'll do. Right. <laughs> Excellent, good, nice technical start to the stream. Right. Jeez, this is almost like an immediate Amstream preview. And then just get rid of the capture cursor. <laughs> Any theme, um, just general retro platforms is the theme for today, as kind of um, as we have done in the past mainly. See, so, yeah, I did notice a few requests for Contra, and we almost never play um, and, and we almost never play um, Amstrad on stream. So, hey, why not? Actually, you guys say Contra. What you obviously mean, of course, because this is England, is Guizor. Anavash with the twenty dollars. Thank you so much. Every bison dollar will be worth five British pounds. Happy Friday, Kim. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Hey, okay, right, we're getting something going here. Apologies for the donation not actually appearing on the screen. Um, the emulator, the um, Winape has um, kind of stopped it from appearing. Oh no, CPC one for the hills. <laughs> oh hey, Pixel Vixen. Hey, how you doing? Play some SNES stuff. Request some SNES stuff, and it shall come. So I've played this a bunch on Spectrum. I have never played this on a um, the old Amstrad. Oh, <laughs> you got paid. I take it that was a Street Fighter 2 reference, I hope so. Well, well, Street Fighter movie reference, anywho. Which is obviously what I meant. Play the blobby amig Airwolf on the Amstrad. No, I'm not playing that, heavens no.
Hmm. I'm doing good. I hope you're um, looking forward to um, your big old move, big son. Game over. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, this is a uh, annoying. What is it? A contrafake? No, no. This is this is an officially licensed. Um, it's an officially licensed Amstrad version of Gwizor, which is what Contra is called in the UK, the arcade version anyway, um, by um, Ocean. Don't make me change the bloody hell. This is really hard. Fucking hell. I can't even jump good. Good scrolling, yeah, it's a flip screen game there. You find that a lot on these. Um, who suggested this? It was a um, bloody. Who is it? David Coe? David Allen Coe? Bloody hell, I'm just getting shot to hell here. Jesus. Contra of yourself from this. Oh, yeah, totally. Bloody hell. I always found Super Contra to be easier than um, the original one we sent. Jesus. When am I doing more vids with you and Sophia? Hopefully soon. Um, we're going to meet up at London Gaming Market in a couple of weeks' time. Speaking of Sophie, where the bloody hell is she? <laughs> I'm sure she'll be long in a minute. This is really annoying. I thought this was supposed to be good on Amstrad. Well, yeah, Contra did, Contra did get um, a lot of weird things happen to Contra over here in Europe. Obviously, we had it renamed Gwizor for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why there was a problem with the name Contra. I have to say, but someone didn't like it. And then, of course, um, the um, when it was released on NES in uh, Europe, it suddenly turned into Probotector. Hang on, why have I lost? I've only just realised that my um, bloody vid my webcam's gone off. God, we're really having a good technical start to the screen, stream, aren't we? We're having a really good technical start to the stream, everybody. So that was a bit of control on the um, Amstrad. Um, not that great, I think, I think I'd have to say for that one. <laughs> Really not that great, actually, I think is the best thing to say. Hey, Terrible Coffin, thank you for the two creeds. Says, lovely streams, thank you for the company. Ah, I appreciate you guys' company. Lovely streams, Kim. Thank you for the company. There, yeah, that's better, I'm back. I don't know why my bloody fins came. Um, so, just, just for the sake of comparison, by the way, um, I think it's only fair... That actually show off a bit of um. So I mean, I suppose I don't know. Some of you all might be American and not necessarily familiar with <laughs> our versions of um some certain very classic games indeed. So here's a spot of um Contra or Gwizor again. I keep getting the name one. On um, Ness. On no, not Ness. Everyone knows it on Ness. On Spectrum. Bit of Gwizor on Spectrum. Why not? Let's get this properly so the people can catch well, it. No, that's not the music. Come on, what's the proper version? That is not the music. That's better. <laughs> I believe it was Germany. The German laws against display of violence against people in games made them replace the guys with robots. Chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why they changed the name from Contra to Grisel, though. I mean, I get Probotector, because it sounds robotic, but... Oh, hello, here we go. Finally. Hello, Sophia. I fucking love you, darling. Jesus. Are you right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had to shout in the microphone? <laughs> I didn't shout in the microphone. 
This this phone is quite loud, I have to admit. Yes, I'll just uh, sort your volumes out. Can everyone hear so far, Kay? I presume you can. Yeah. She's just giving your um your ears a thoroughly good seeing to there, I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> a jolly good seeing to. Yeah. <laughs> ah, so how are you? Oh, alright. Happy mm. Valentine's Day, my sweet. Ah, so happy Valentine's Day to you. Okay, so yes, this is um just for comparison, since we had um Gweisel of the Amstrad. Here's Gweisel on the Spectrum. I think he'll agree it's a hell of a lot better. <laughs> yes, RIP headphone users indeed. I should think so. Anything with this, I can figure out how to jump. She certainly does know how to make an entrance, this is true. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie is, always does what she wants. Hey, Bominator! It wasn't my usual piss take. Uh, uh, I tell you, this is kind of annoying on Kempston bloody joystick because for some reason I can't fucking jump. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it? Okay, I figured it out. Never mind. Um, jaundiced Contra. What do yeah. I think? What, what do I think of the Irishman? Um, very long. Uh, Joe Pesci is great. Uh, <clears throat> Al Pacino is chewing the scenery. Uh, Harvey Keitel, despite the fact he's on screen for less than five minutes, is really good. And Robert De Niro, well, he's Robert De Niro. What, you mean he's waiting and talking Italian? No, he's just Robert being Robert De Niro. Have you seen it yet? No. Alright, well, when you've got, like, five hours to spare... I never have five hours to spare. I'm a YouTuber. We're very busy people. Yeah, right. So how come every time I ring you up, you're, you're in bed? No, I'm not. Don't lie. Hello, Dizino. Yeah, I have to say, I mean... You might not think of much... You might generally think Contra on the Spectrum is, um... Not necessarily going to be a good time, but this is a cracking port. Of, a. Uh, the game. I think I actually have another go of it. Contra's on the spectrum. She's usually on the bottom. Ha ha ha. Not that Contra. It plays better than the CPC one by far. I do agree that like, we need more Dr. Sparkle, but yeah, Dr. Sparkle's never been particularly positive about anything that seems to relate to the ZX Spectrum, as he tends to call it. Damn it. Hey, Nicholas Wilson, thank you for the... 199 says happy valentines kim and sophia ah no, thank you very much oh, thank you thank you nicholas thank you thank you i have a hi kim i have a strange question do you know why in england there are two different faucets one tap for hot the water country. and another for cold water um it actually kind of depends, please. It would look like we're fucking plumbers. Happy Valentine's, <laughs> Kim and Sophia. Oh, well, I was kind of... Uh, okay, yeah, I don't actually know, but... The thing is, a lot of places don't necessarily have even, like, two faucets these days. Ow, how comes I died? I make you laugh, Ball. do I, Liam? How do I make you laugh? Oh, God. Don't go all football factory. Wait, how do I make you laugh? Am I amusing? Hmm. Um. Okay, so that's that's a bit of that was a bit of um a bit of a Guise or um console com computer comparison. As you can see, much better on the spectrum. Um. Uh, let's have a look at some requests. What have we got? Um. Bobinator requests Jazz Jack Rabbit. 
Nyla Rose and Rio had a pretty great time match. Did you catch it? Um, I did not. Jazz Jack Rabbit. Okay, I haven't played that in a while. I kind of feel of I kind of feel in playing there's some games that I don't necessarily normally play. So let's see if we can find a bit of Jazz Jack Rabbit for you on the old on the old MS DOS Rooney. Hopefully it'll work all right once I get it, but. <laughs> Oh, fans going off, as usual. Uh, okay, there's the window. Seen the Sonic Hedgehog movie? I, I have. You have already. Yep, seen it. Any good? Actually, it's not bad. Okay. Slopes has done a review of it. If you can, if you can, uh, the trouble is, one my one problem I have, and I have a guess what it is. What? Jim Carrey. Jim I Carrey, oh, why did then? I find it excruciatingly annoying. Yeah. Oh. But there, there's oh, there's a digger there's a dig there's a dig at Nintendo within the first few minutes. Yeah. Um, Kim, can you um, take me off microphone and speak to me just a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Testing one, two. Testing one. What? No, 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 no. I need to speak to you like without people hearing. Uh, what? Oh, hang on. No, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Some people are making references to um, la the large layer, whatever it is. Okay, um, just wanted to let you know. People will. Okay. I'm um, okay. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. I don't mind. <laughs> Sorry um, <about> that. <laughs> fuck it. Um. So. Let us play a bit of Jazz Jack Rabbit. This music is pretty cool. So yeah, do you say like so? So is Jim Carrey just not good? No, he's doing his usual manic performance. That's the problem I have. Yeah. The only time, the only time it didn't annoy so the fuck out was the mask. I yeah. kind of felt that, that was that was suitable, but every other time I just I, don't, I just don't like Jim Carrey's. I just don't like his performances. Hmm. I know he was in Kick-Ass 2, but then he whined about it being too violent and refused to do, you know, publicity for the films. Yeah. Oh, apparently, apparently the mutant thing didn't really work. Hey ho, never mind. Sorry? Apparently the mutant thing didn't work, never mind. Not that we talk about anything that sensitive. So I can't hear you? The mutant thing didn't work, never mind. Right. Episode not bullshit. Right, okay, so let's out of this world. Okay, right. So this is kind of a Sonic S game, is it not? Someone said Jim Carrey's really good at playing Jim Carrey. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. You know, he's always, he's always, he's always manic. I mean, the Truman Show, sure, he was, he was, he was, he was less manic. Um, mm. But I just thought the Truman Show was boring. Yeah. I'd much rather, there was a similar film out to the Truman Show around about the same time as Pleasantville. Yeah. And that, really, really, I really like that film. Mm. Does anyone remember Cool Spot? I remember Cool Spot, I never really played it that much though. Does any anyone remember does 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 anyone remember flares? Flares, oh god. The channel the people here probably have a bit more taste than that.
Oh, hello. This is the Aldi version of Sonic. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a bit harsh. It's all. It's, it's all right. I can think of a lot worse Sonic ripoffs. <laughs> this is by Epic Games. It's one of those games that's got a nice lot of hidden secrets, most everywhere. But anyway, as I was going to say, Sonic. Um, what what uh, what I, I, I'd say is, yeah, it's it's one of the bad meta films based on. Um, Based uh, on that video game. Yeah. I mean, the best is still Resident Evil, even though the, the film Resident Evil bears fuck all relation to the, to the, to, to the, the game. Yeah. No, the best has to be Street Fighter, sorry. Um, Follows. It is. I mean, there's no, nothing else even comes close. Uh, I, I'm not such a fan. Fine. <laughs> Green Dog was the Neto Sonic. <laughs> God, Neto. Yeah, well, I'm sure Mo Watch Mojo will, will, will soon, soon be having, you know, the top 10 best uh, cheap, cheap versions of, of, of Sonic, which aren't Sonic. Have they not already had that? Most probably. Yeah, Watch Mojo's. Here's, top ten, here's the top 10 of top 10s. Of, of shit we've ripped off from other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's put the latest Tomb Raider. I heard that was alright. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, Mortal Kombat, of course, directed by Paul W. Anderson, who went on to do Resident Evil. Indeed, he did. Yeah. I remember he did this very low budget uh, British film, Shit. Shopping, which had Jude Law in. Yeah. And Sean Bean. Did Sean Bean all die in it? No, he, he, plays, oh. he plays a gangster. I think he's like in it for like a few minutes so they can stick his name on the poster. So that oh they're... yeah, I have, I have yes. <laughs> Classic practice. It's a bit bloody annoying to play, I have to say. I find. Crying out loud. He did Super a Miller tour, apparently. <laughs> More like a complete and out of, you know, uh, balls up. What's an underrated classic? Super Mario Bros. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers, I mean, it's, it's meant to be Mario, but it looks like Blade Runner. I mean, it's it's a weird, it's a strange one, isn't it? <laughs> it's quite odd. Oh fucking hell! Uh, this is pissing me off. I may be down, but I'm not out. <laughs> Have I seen Richard Stanley's new movie, The Colour of Space? No. The Colour of Space. I have seen 1917, and that is really, really, really good. <laughs> Might as well stream all weekend. I'm not streaming all weekend, Mr. Facehead. <laughs> Just an impromptu, like, 72 hours stream. Yeah, she's not H-bomber guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> and even he had to go to sleep sometime. Which is the best movie I wish there was a game to it? 
Uh, oh, that's a good question. Hmm. Um, well, weirdly, um, uh, what's it, Edge of Tomorrow, if you watch it, it, it is like a video game. Um, Full metal it's jacket. Lot, it's <laughs> got a lot of elements to the video gaming in it, in its whole plot device. Hmm. So, you could say that that should be a video game. Right. See, I still remember the days when, video, when, when, when movies were sold on them being movies, and then George Lucas came along and um, decided, nah, I can really cash in on all this. Hmm. Actually, he, he has said, he has said, he didn't think Star Wars would make any money, so he, he got... <laughs> so, um, he bought marketing rights, which was unusual for a director. Yeah. And no one paid attention to what he was doing, really. Yeah. But Fucking hell! So, so yeah. that, you know, you could make movies without just, uh, uh, just on, not... I mean, I've always merchandised films, but that was sort of like the first time it was done, like, you know... Mm. Um, really overtly. I've played a bit of Scarface on the PS2, Ricky. Um, it is pretty good, yeah. I'll need to play more of it. I don't fuck anything we're out of cut. <laughs> the one... Uh, 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 let me introduce you to my friend! <laughs> I don't think that's how the line goes. I'm, but never mind. <laughs> God, this is one of those games where you just bounce around everywhere, isn't it? Like, seriously, the amount of bouncing around everywhere that you bloody do is crazy. You still there, Soph? <laughs> I noticed this game has, uh, has the Hell's Eye uh, 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 lens from 2001. Oh. Sorry, Dave. I can't do that. Would you kill me if I said I thought this was the best of the computer-based Sonic competitors? Really? Ugh. Uh. Oh, everyone's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's it's all right, but I don't know. This is one of those ones. Is this just? I I kind of feel this is almost one of those games where it's a, one of those you had to be there sort of games. Michelle Pfeiffer was gorgeous in, in Scarface. Yeah, oh, yeah, some very kinky people probably thought she was gorgeous in, in Batman Returns. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thing is, though, um, I imagine, Bobby Nate, so if um, I said to someone, like, oh, I really like Zool, like, they'd probably, they'd probably play it and be like, this is shit. So, same thing, I suppose. All right, pop trivia, pop trivia question for people. Michelle Pfeiffer was not the first choice. Why am I out of focus? Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer was not the first choice to play Catwoman in uh, Batman Returns. Who was? How many people going out of focus? Um. Pop quiz, hot shot. <laughs> so what shall I play new? No. What shall I play, folks? With yourself? I don't think that'd be allowed on stream. Shit. <laughs> Donna, no. <clears throat> Did you? Yeah, very funny. Sean Young. Uh, there is there is a story about Sean Young, but not to do with this. Yeah, someone's already got it. Someone's got it. Uh, 
Matthew Matthew Major gets gets the brownie points at Benning. However, Sean Sean Young was meant to be Vicky Vale in the in the first Batman film. Adam Phillip with the uh, best guess, June Brown. Bert <laughs> Quook. <laughs> Mr. T. I used to like Mr. T. Yeah. Let's turn the turtles. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> Oh, was actually, actually, that's a question. Was there ever an 18 um, video game? Um, oh, there is, yes. Um, it's, there's only one, surprisingly enough, and it's... I can't remember what it's for. I think it's for an Atari 8-bit, and it's dreadful. <laughs> I think it's for Atari 8-bit. Don't um, so, don't call me on it. Someone will know in the chat. Um, people are asking for Zool. Um, well, we'll go for Nest Turtles and then maybe a bit of Zool after that, perhaps. I haven't played this game in a while either. So, folks, I was just uh, browsing YouTube the other day and I found out that you can find Nick Love's version of the third. Yeah. That's great. Version on, on YouTube for free. Yeah, because, like, you want to watch, you know, Cashel say, yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to stab you. No, there goes the monetization oh. on this stream. Huh? There goes the monetization on this stream. I've already said it once before. I'm joking. <laughs> Atari 2600, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, cough up, suckers. We want to pay for our wedding. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> My name's not Winds of Redemption. Don't do that in this stream. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. Oh, for fuck's sake. That fucking, oh, God. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to continue unless someone pays me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, you must have got for that. Uh, the thing is, um, I was, I was kind of surprised because he does that every stream. It just, for one, some reason, it went viral on that one. He's been doing that for years. He's a miserable bastard. He's a cunt. Yeah. <laughs> there was going to be an 18 game on Master System, yeah. <laughs> Where was it? Yeah, because, yeah, like, uh, you, you want to. I could just imagine. I could just imagine the, the, pitch, uh, the, the pitch Nick Love makes for films. <laughs> so, um, what film do you want to make? Well, it's blokes. It's no, blokes. It's yeah. It's blokes. That's all he says. It's blokes. <laughs> it's blokes. <laughs> well. Here's a million pounds. Go and make your film. Here's, million, what, that, here's that, a million. Here's a million pounds and a half a kilo of cocaine. Go nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Every fucking film Nick Love has ever made, that is what it is. Mm, it's blokes. Really <laughs> nasty things to blokes while they're mm. pulled up. Yeah. Usually around football hooliganism. Yeah. And uh, Danny Dwyer. Yeah. And Tam Hassan. And do I watch some football if I do? Who's my favourite team? Uh, Yes, I watch football. I'm my team, Southend United. Well, that's the team I yeah. support. Um, yes. We're shit. Well, oh, we're fast heading for the Vauxhall Conference. And that league doesn't even exist anymore, folks. <laughs> well, I don't know what they are. I don't look that far down the league. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so yeah. I don't, I don't support a good football team, basically. Is yeah. what we're saying here. Mm -hmm. I do. Yes, you support Celtic. You are ten points ahead. Because Rangers Pretty fucked good. up the other night. Ha ha. Fucking hun, fucking cunt. Yeah, well, Jesus. Um. <laughs> so um, yeah. Well, and my my team on the other hand on Tuesday we had a nice brace in a four nil defeat against Peterborough. That's um, that's not, and that's far from the the um, worst defeat we've had this season. Here's, here's a trivia question. Here's, 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 here's a piece of about, about my personal life in Peterborough. I once had an operation at Peterborough Hospital. Oh, great. Um, sure. Excellent. I know, really, really, yeah, everyone needs to know that. Everyone, everyone really needed to know that. I tell you, this game isn't as good as I remember, folks. <laughs> I don't recall it running so slow. I recall this running better on the Spectrum, which is actually yeah, where can, I used to play this. We can play Shadow of the Beast and listen to its intro music, which is a rip-off well, of, of, of Man Vice. 
Well, the Miami Vice episode where Miami Vice jumped the shark. Um, no, the whip, the Miami Vice whip off in is there the um, game over music, to Shadow of the Beast too. That's what I said. Yeah, you. No, I you said, said Shadow of the Beast two. Oh, got yeah, yeah. Ugh. All right, all right, fuck off. But I also know that the episode is lifted from is when Miami Vice jumped the shark. Oh, is it? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's the one. It's the one where Sonny Crockett loses his um, memory and he ends up as a drug dealer. Okay. <laughs> and starts unionising the, the drug dealers, which was hilarious. Hey, uh, you know, never mind. Um. What do I make of Man City? Well, they're Man City. Oh, did have you not heard the news? What? They've been banned from European competition for two years. Why? Um, illicit transfer practices from the looks of things. Oh, right. Very naughty. Oh dear, that's going to hit their revenue string. Mm. Might hit their chances of keeping Pep Guardiola for much longer. Or any of the other players. Or you any know, of the other players, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, because the top players are only going to go to teams which are qualified for Europe. Fuck's sake. Uh, let's play his mic. Big Mike, the problem. This game is shit, isn't it? Let's face it, folks. AVGN was right about this game, wasn't he? AVGN was correct about this game. It's crap. God damn it. That's what I like to be banned. Well, yeah, I mean, Liverpool Liverpool fans killed above 40 odd people and they got banned for six years. Mm. Well, all all British clubs got banned for that time. No, no. Oh, no, well, Liverpool got banned for a bit longer. Um, everyone else got banned for five. Yeah. And I think Liverpool actually got banned for more, but it got a year, rescinded a year like early or something. How about years becoming Spurs fans in, in the victory? Oh yeah, that's um, yeah. Uh, I wish people wouldn't use that terminology, but um... Ah, oh, this is shit. Um, let's play the uh, other Terminator, te not Terminator, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, that's on um, Nin NES, the arcade game version. Because I don't think I've really played that much. Yeah, but... Uh, you yeah, Marcus, but it was at a time when football hooliganism was really bad. It, it really was. Have I been to one of the new Dolby cinemas? New. Yeah, I mean, the 80s was a a bad, bad... De well, it was a good decade as far as trophies go, but it was a bad decade everywhere else for, for um, yeah. English football. I, ironically, what ended football hooliganism is a drug called ecstasy. Yeah. Because they, they, all, the all, the, all the sort of casual started to go to raids. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, Rise of the Foot Soldier is, is a shit bill, right? It's yeah. a really shit bill. But it has a very important bit in it where, you know, the, the, the sort of main character is a football hooligan. Um, <clears throat> he, um, he takes ecstasy. Uh, and, and all of a sudden he's going, he's going, Oh, the music's got a bit of a beat in it, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And it gets all loved up. Mm. And that's why, you know, that's simply, you know, some are right. That's why it's did football. Yeah. As, as, you know, sure, you always have the diehards. You know, what a rock. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, they started doing it away from the state, the, the grounds as well. Yeah. If the, the thing is, look, the, the way I see it is, like, if, if a bunch of chubby casuals want to have a rock, right? What they should do is find a, you know, some derelict ground on some, you know, industrial estate which has got no industry in it anymore, <laughs> right? They should escort them there, right? And then they can beat the shit out of each other, you know, as much as you want. Fuck it, you can sell the rights to the, 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 the fucking Sky Sports, you know? 
this week it's it's the head hunter, it's the Chelsea headhunters against you know the NSA fan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, that's <laughs> what I'm going to tell you. You're not going to be losing any captains of industry, anyone who's going to be involved with the space <laughs> program and NASA. You know, I really don't care if they <laughs> want to kick the shit out of each other. Let them. Just don't do it where other people, you know, can get injured. Not. <laughs> Yes, well, <laughs> very outspoken as ever, so. Well, that's why I think you told me that's why people like me. Yes, yes, this is, this is true. The Firm's a good movie. Don't, let's not forget The Firm, as in the original one with um, Gary yeah. Oldman. And Phil Davis. Yes. Shadwell Army, yeah, ID. <laughs> now that is a very un that is an underrated film, which has got Philip Glinster in, who became uh -huh. the I Gene Hunt. Yeah. Ow. Oh, yeah. The firm stump Star Trek it yeah, Star Trek it Oh god, damn. Worst of all time. <laughs> so turns it like it is. Yeah, go to my medium blog. In fact, I'll stick a link into the. Yeah, uh... Uh, it won't let you. <laughs> oh, won't it? Well, if no. you weren't an administrator, it would. Make you a moderator. Yeah. Don't be kidding. Hmm. Well, Did you like Hale and Pace? No, not really. I actually, actually, I remember Hale and Pace. No, I don't like Hale and Pace. I don't like any crappy comedy duos. Um, <laughs> yeah, Hale and Pace, I remember they were actually in, a, in an episode of The Young Ones. Yes, they were. Reese Dinster was such an underrated actor. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, Reese Dinster, he was in Threads. Mm. Which was a which was a which was a very cheerful um, Very, very, very nice movie, movie yes. Very charming. <laughs> yeah. Uh no, I've not seen the gentleman movie. It's a new um Guy Ritchie one, isn't it? I swear that this is harder than the arcade. I like or am I just Caesar shit? The best. Yeah, li well, if you're talking about Little Caesar Pizza, um, we don't have them here, do we? No, um, we don't, don't think so, no. no. You stood next to Gareth Hale in a pub once and he stank of BO. Oh, nice. Yeah, well, that's, that's not really surprising, is it? I once met Jimmy White in a, a urinals in a, in a, in a pub. <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen Jimmy, I've saw Jimmy White on telly today. He looked terrible. He looked what really bad. Um, but he is nearly 60. Uh, the, the, the secret of my success. Actually, do you know, I've actually... No, a, no drink tonight, Andy. That's a guilty pleasure. What you can only what you can only watch Fred's once a year as it's terrifying. What is it? Do you have a special day for it? Like <laughs> ah, I'm, it's ah, it's Fred's day. Happy Fred's what day. What's the funniest sitcom of the ninety of the nineties? Drop a dead donkey. Hmm. Of the nineties, it's got to be bottom. Nah, I prefer I prefer drop a dead donkey. Mm, never really got into that one. Favourite American TV comedies? Oh, uh, Boston Needle has one of the funniest scenes in television I've ever seen involving William Shatner 
some Viagra on a goat. <laughs> you have to see it for yourself to, 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 to appreciate it. Mm. Sounds lovely. Sid Little made your dinner, Podge. Ooh, wow, nice. Mm. Uh, the first show wasn't a sitcom. It was a sketch show. <laughs> Favourite American sitcom? Yeah, about 1980s. Um, Father Ted. No, we don't, we don't talk Father Ted here. Well, it was a good show. I, I, you know, you know, my, you know, I, I've, um, in my mind, I've just said to myself that, um, something. Who's the other one who he worked with? Arthur Matthews. He did all of Father Ted. <laughs> it's true. Yes. He, he, he did all of it. The, um, the other guy had nothing to do with it. Is a, a transphobic bastard. Mm. An Harry Sanders show. Oh yeah. Roses are red, violets are blue. I got radiation sickness. My days now are few. The dangerous. I was watching a bit of Dangerous Brothers a few days ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's classic laugh. I think that's enough TMNT. Yeah, I like Frasier as far as American sitcoms go. Um, what should I play now? What should I play? Oh hey OSG, how you doing, mate? Yeah, doing Father good. Ted was great, Adam. But Graham Lyman, the guy who wrote it, doesn't like trans people particularly. So yeah, you know, that's an understatement. But, um, yeah. Oh yes. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, nothing. Alan Partridge. Yeah, the one, the one where he was um, in that. Uh, what's it? That motel. What was it? What was it? What the Travel Tavern? That was half yeah. that series. No, but what what was that? <laughs> it was called Alan, um, knowing Alan Partridge or something. Well, that was that was when he's on the chat show. No, it was afterwards. There was a there was a, a series. Yeah, I'm Alan Partridge. Sorry, I'm Alan Partridge. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's that's legendary. Yeah, that's Alan one of the greatest things ever. Yeah, Black yeah. Book was only by Dylan Moran. You're correct. Where, where, he where, where, where he ends up at his number one fan's house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Alan Partridge. I love that. Some racing game. Hmm. Yeah, who remembers the British version of Ro uh, Roseanne? 2.4 children. Duke. Want to play some Duke? Okay, well, what Duke can I play? Um, yeah, let's play some Duke, why not? Play a bit of Duke Nukem 2. Gaming excitement. Oh yeah, the uh, silver, the um, the uh, Alan Partridge audio book. Yeah, that's amazing. Oh hi, no way, Mango Demachner. Hi Kim, how much is the pursuit of not smoking so weird? Um, not well. I'm I'm definitely not smoking weird now because I've stopped. So I am back. I've stopped smoking, Mango. Oh, nicotine. The upper hand, the English version of Who's the Boss? Sophie stood on the e-cigarette. E yes, I don't like those things. So. In fact, I just forked out for a new e-cigarette. This one's quite powerful. Oh yeah, Zool. Yeah, I'll play that in a bit of Hydro Life. I'll play that after this. Yeah, Gary Olsen died. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 
Yeah, it's really good that she's given up. It means she's got more money to spend on me. <laughs> this is true, I suppose. Yeah. How did I find it? <laughs> um, it's been mostly okay so far. I mean, I, still have the, I do still have the odd one socially, but... I was, I was, we, we, were, we were having a, a, a brainstorm about videos and she, she suddenly started screaming out, Stop telling me what my job is! And I went, what? what? She went, oh, I've given up smoking and I'm really, you know, um, you know... Um, <laughs> yes, you know, the days when Duke was child-friendly. <laughs> Hey, good Charlie, uh, Charlie, I'm also here. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Sophia. I am Kim's fiance. <laughs> Bloody hell, all right, Jesus. Oh, no, I used to have a top like that, which you're wearing. Oh, my top? Oh. No, I used to have one like that. Yeah, I've got this one. It's kind of old. Yeah, I don't know what I did with it, though. Stop getting Bond wrong. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it can be OSG. Um, you just got to give them away when you're done. <laughs> well, lucky, lucky. Well, her mother, her mum's given up. Yes. I don't. I, I only smoke an e-cigarette, so. So I'm nobody around much smoking anymore, so that helps. Operation Good Guys. God, I haven't seen that in years. God, this intro is long, isn't it? Fucking hell. Here we go. Hi, 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 Ben. Hi, Charlie. Doobies. No, I'd never give up doobies. No, 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 no. I'd never give those up. And I don't really smoke doobies. No, she's boring. Yeah, they say fuck and shit and cunt. No, they haven't said cunt yet, but they have oh. said fuck a few times. Actually, funny enough, you talk about talk about the the, 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 <laughs> the word cunt. Um, there's um, there's a Harley Quinn animated series. I know there's a film out. Um, yes. With, uh, uh, Margot, what her name? Um, mm. and um, the. There is a series, an anime series, and they, there is the C word in it. Disgusting. <laughs> Scandalous. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> can hear you, sorry. That helps, Bobby Knight, so thank you. Looks a bit better now. Oh! So. Hello! So it, it, it does this. What happens is it, you go quiet. But, uh, I don't know why. I went to quiet. Yeah. Well, you're back now at least. What about the weed? Mmm, weed. Marijuana, marijuana, do you wanna? Yeah, please. Right. The caffeine in sodas provides one unit of health. I know, it's amazing what they think of. You can't say the C word now, the correct term is Piers Morgan. <laughs> Yeah, I did see a headline the other day. Piers Morgan comes out as a cunt. <laughs> it was like it was like a piss take of uh, Philip Schofield. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for fuck's sake, people getting worked out about Philip Schofield coming out as gay. What the fuck? He's gay. So what? Good for him. Hmm. Pretty much. <laughs> Oh. 
Yep, further, oh. that's absolutely true. Um. Not too much. Just been play we're just playing Duke Nukem, Robert. The original classic Duke Nukem platformer. Yeah, I remember when Philip Schofield was, was in the broom cupboard on set on children's BBC. Indeed. I haven't I've heard many many jokes about that over the past few like, week. Yes, I'd imagine. Fisting Gordon and all that. Very, yes. Yes. Not exactly original. <laughs> you know it's good when you see it all the time on Facebook. Oh yes, I do remember that spitting image in a in a Schofield oh. and Jason Donovan, you know in the gay closet song. Yeah. Glad not to be gay. I remember that, yeah. Uh, God, when I was when I was at school, they did the uh uh thing you did that never met a nice South Africa. Mm. Uh, I'm sure you had fun with that. Uh, people used to sing that at me all the fucking time. <laughs> I also remember there was Ed the Duck. Uh, after Gordon, there was Ed the Duck. Wasn't oh, it? yes, Ed, 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 Ed the Duck was much more uh, my time. My time period was Ed the Duck, not really Gordon the Gopher. I'm kind of stuck in this period, like no fucking health. I mean, I stopped, stopped watching children's television by the time I was about 13, I think. Well, yeah, obviously, obviously. I mean, so same here, but yeah. But I mean, Ed, Ed the Duck would have been, well, I was about, what, seven, six, maybe? <laughs> when that was a thing. Um, Andy Crane these days is on um he's on like local radio I believe in Manchester. I believe he's um he's actually on um Andy Wood was um I mean not Andy Andy Wood. Dan Dan Wood. No, Andy Crane was interviewed on an episode of uh, the Retro Hour with um Dan Wood and Ravi Abbott. So you can find out what he's what he's been up to you by do you, know, that? do you know Dan Wood has now got fre uh, his, his, his new best friend is his, his fast host? What a sad gear, you know. What? Having a, having a friend who's, who's, a, who's a service provider. What are you talking about? I'm making a joke. I, I well, yes, but I didn't hear you. Sorry? I didn't hear you. No, I said Dan Wood's new best friend is fast host. I said. What a sad guy to have, have as his new best friend, uh, as an internet service provider. Right, okay. I see, very funny. Haha. <laughs> no, I mean, it's uh, my, my, my old acquaintance, Gardner Goldsmith. He used to. Um, he, he used to, he was um, a radio talk show host in America, and it used to be so cringeworthy when, in, in, in the States, you don't just have the commercial breaks, but basically when they come back in, into, the, into the show, they'll go something like, um, uh, this, this, uh, this show is brought to you by our friends at McDonald's, and he actually had to do that. It was McDonald's, and it, I, they just used to take the absolute piss out of them all the time. How about? Lovely Valentine's King. Uh, thank you, Robert. Thank you for the forever. Yeah, I really appreciate you, it. Right, so I'll apparently I have a—I must have a card now. I presume. I hope Sorry? so. Anyway, I must have a card now. Hopefully. A card for what? The game I'm playing. Oh. This is a live stream. Don't forget. Ooh. 
ostensibly one where games are played, not just a Soph talks shit live stream. Um, Damn just it. made a little sick joke about Jimmy Savile. Oh, really? Where? <laughs> I actually uh, met thanks. Jimmy Savile twice when I was a kid. Mm. Good evening, James. Oh. <laughs> what was the joke about Jimmy Savile? I missed number it. Number seven, three. Right, yeah, number seven, three. There, there is a clip online, you can find it, right? Iggy Pop humping a teddy bear on number 73 while he was what? doing. <laughs> while he was performing. Iggy Pop humping a teddy bear. Lovely. <laughs> yeah. Watchman TV series thought it was shit. What shall I play now, folks? Put some requests in. Oh Zool. yeah, Zool. Okay, Zool. Fair enough. <laughs> I keep putting it off. Um, a loud low rumble on the stream. Oh, bloody hell, yeah. What the hell? I, I got a feeling Stanley Topcliffe was, was actually on Tiz was as well. <laughs> Probably. <sighs> I always forget to unplug that. That's just coming from my guitar lead, if anyone was hearing a rumble. Yeah, further, I'm, I'm a mega Iggy Pop fan. I've seen him live. Um, <clears throat> I mean, he's still like 50 of and he was diving into the crowd, you know? <laughs> Doing his fan. So we should we we should tell folk what um when when the last time no it wasn't the last time it was the time uh, it was New Year's Eve when when I proposed to you live on a stream mm. yeah I've got some really bad news but we're breaking it off oh um, shut no. what <laughs> you bastard you didn't tell me <laughs> <laughs> no um uh, basically about a week later uh, Zypho was doing a live stream and I was I was in bed and I suddenly got a call and she goes. Can you, can you tune into Zypho? Zypho basically, uh, he rebroadcast uh, when I pr proposed to her. I know, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I've sort of that too. What guitar do I have? Um, I've got a Gibson SG. I've got a Ibanez SDGR bass. Those are my two main weapons of choice. I've got one Patreon so far. I wonder Ooh. who that is. <laughs> oh, it's someone called Kim Justice. <laughs> With a really out of date photo, by the way. Yeah, that photo really needs changing. I keep meaning to get around to it. It's like, geez, that needs changing, but I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, folks, folks, rush over to Patreon and, and support me, because I am a writer. She yes, just... Soph does have a Patreon now. Yeah, I, I can't stick the link into the chat, unfortunately, so. Do I play in a band? I uh, used to. I don't anymore. Might. I don't know. Kind of going between. I might have to get myself into a new one at some stage, though. After you've done this, do you stick the link into my medium bar, will you? Yeah, okay. Um, can you put it on, like. Uh, I don't know, Facebook or something for me? Yeah, okay. Two Dan Electros, a 59 DC, and a Longhorn bass. Nice. Favorite Viz character? Hmm. Modern parents. Modern parents. <laughs> I like those. Um, I like Roger Melly. 
the man on the telly. Yeah, I have to say, I, I look at this. Fucking hell! I look, I do look at this game, and I do think if I, if I, if I, if someone played this for the first time, they would think it was absolute dog shit. They really would. I mean, it really has not aged well. <laughs> like, really hasn't. This is just the most classic European platformer in the whole worst possible sense of the word. <laughs> yeah. Hello, good evening, and bollocks. Sid the sexist. Tit suit. Uh, Biff of bacon. You still there, Soph? Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, I'm just giving you a couple of links. I've messaged you in Messenger. Call you up. Yeah, the graphics are okay, Ricky, but um, playing it, there's there's a really nasty delay on the jump. It's hard to explain. It just feels so awkward. I'm afraid. And you get hit by fucking everything. The sequel is better, mind you. The sequel's alright. Sequel moves a bit faster, which is good. Nothing, Greg. I'm very sexy. <laughs> first game you played on my Amiga 1200. Funnily enough, Porch, the first game I played on my Amiga 1200 was all two. Actually, was it? Oh, and what, it was either that or Aladdin, funnily enough. Weirdly, I had I managed to have Aladdin for both the Amiga and the Mega Drive, even though it was exactly the same on both. But then, I didn't really um, say, oh, I want this game, I want that game, because I didn't really know any better. Hey, Nick Infante, how you doing? Shit. Ow! Mr. Nuts is a cool game. Do Chubba Chubs still exist? Yeah, Chubba Chubs still exist. Available at your local pharmacists, your pretty much everywhere, in fact. You can even get giant Chubba Chubs. So I've seen. Big, massive fuckers that you... I don't know what the fuck you'd do with them, but hey-ho, you can get them, apparently. You can get giant everything these days. Weird Dreams was your first Amiga game. Jeez, that's a that's a hardcore opener. <laughs> what about playing the Viz game? Oh yes, we could play the Viz game. I haven't I haven't played that on stream in ages. Huh? Was there a Viz game? Yes, there was. I'm gonna and you, and you know what? We're gonna play that right now. Fuck so we're playing that. Um yeah, after you put the those two links into Oh the yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, no worries. I'm on it, I'm on it. Well, I'll put your medium link in the chat, then people can decide. But uh. Ah, no, no, I'm not kidding. I'm... So, yes, if you want to check out my girlfriend's writing, then um, click on that link right there. Yeah. Go on. Um, although, obviously, wait until the stream's over. Yeah. <laughs> and if you go and read classic classic articles like Fuck the British Pub <laughs> Yes, I don't agree with that one. But... <laughs> as a <laughs> as an ardent pub goer. <laughs> yeah. Oh I'm sorry. It's just that like people always have this sort of like romantic notion that a pub is like you know, they they sell craft beers and there's interesting characters who are well, patrons. And I go, no, the reality, the reality of the British pub is where we're supposed to on a Friday night. Mm, Jack's on a Friday you know, night. Got me fucking gammon. 
who, you know, if you look, you, you glance at back, you know, the wrong way, you, you know, they'll take you outside and give you a slap. I mean, or, or, or even not even that, they'll punch you there right on the spot. Well, I go to a Weatherspoons every week. Me and me and all the all the people, Nigel, Tim. Choose your player. Well, I think it's got to be old Buster Gonad and his infeasibly large testicles. And I mean, the, the other thing is, the, I, 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 when I was in the nineties, I spent a lot of time in pubs, and you could always tell the alcoholics not by their slurred speech or the impromptu singing. I have no or, idea what you're even doing these fucking mini games. I have to say. Or, um, <clears throat> or they, they're staggering around. The way you tell, 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 tell an alcoholic is that they will go on and on and on and on and on. Oh, I'm not an alcoholic because I know some other bloke who, you know, drinks far more than me. I'm not their fucking therapist and I used to have to put up with this shit. It's with that thick one at the bottom. My starter, what you irrelevant? Oh, where have you drunk in South End? Pete. Any particular places? Anywhere I might know? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you the two. The railway. That was a nice pub. The railway is a nice pub. Yes. That is not good, Larry. That's my girlfriend, Soph. How dare you compare me to? <laughs> <laughs> He's a far better person than me. <laughs> This is a bloody annoying game, this. Who makes, who makes, who makes, who makes far better wise cracks than me. Go and check out Ret uh, Retro and Nim's uh, Christmas uh, oh, God. <laughs> special. Yeah. yeah, wait right until the end. Wait right until the end. <laughs> it was near the pier. Ooh. Yeah, didn't, didn't Bernie Oliver once claim that his mum and dad fucked at the end of uh, South End Pier and that's where he was from the um, possibly. So I, some yeah, Matt does his, he does his thing with Jimmy down there. Or was that Salon? Uh, you no, know, I think that's ended now, thank fuck. So if it was near the pier, maybe it was the Boa Hotel or Chinneries or... So yeah, this is like a race between... These are three of Viz's comic characters. And there's a whole oh. bunch of other comic characters in... I'm, I'm, I'm eating my words now. Chinnery, that that's all right. Chinnery's I mean, a nice so, place as well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do have live music there, and I do have to commend any band, uh, any pub which has live music. Oh, bloody hell, I keep getting hit. I'm trying to show off the game, but I'm terrible at it. Seriously, I really am bad at this game. Oh, well, I guess you've got to play as Biffa Bacon now. What do you even do in these mini games? Fuck only knows. Whatever. Lane free Biffa Bacon. Is it a one in ball sack? Trying to remember the pub name, it was a bit rough. Yeah, a lot of the pubs down the seafront are pretty rough. <laughs> you see, that's what I mean. That's why I don't like. Well, yeah, well, that doesn't describe every bloody pub in the world. No. I just have a bad habit of walking into them. Hmm. Waggle left and right. Don't you mean up and down? <laughs> oh, what the hell? Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck this game. Anyway, so yeah, that's, that's the Viz computer game. I'm just going to quickly get up for a second. Ugh. Um, Put some more requests in the chat. Talk to me. 
So what's everyone drinking tonight? The mini games that we need to laggle raggle left and right frantically. Right. Okay, yeah, why not? Frank Bruno's box. Frank Bruno's boxing? Oh my god, really? That's shit. How is the soap? The soap is fine. <laughs> Let's see, what do we got? Loaded, exhumed. So, 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 Overboard. You don't to, so you don't want to go to sleep tonight then? What? Someone's drinking Monster Energy at... Oh wow, I don't know. Nothing. You're not going to get any sleep, mate. <laughs> uh, seriously, you have a few cans of that, right? And it's like fucking speed. Let's play Overboard. Because I remember when I was I'm covering the general ages. election. I drank a, a few years ago when I was covering the general election. I drank, I don't know, how many cans of that stuff. And I was up, buzzing for about 30 seconds. <laughs> I don't do energy drinks. Did you know that there's a uh, football team... No, I didn't. Sorry, I, I didn't. Um, Where's Overboard? Didn't, uh, brought. I don't seem to have Overboard. Oh, well. Um, shit. What other requests are there? Evander Holyfield Boxing. Evander Holyfield Boxing? Oh, all right. I used to, weirdly, this is a game I used to rent out all the friggin' time. I don't know why, but... <laughs> I've got a nice bottle of Corona. Yeah, when, I, when I first had say the Corona bars, I went, oh, all right, it, th th that's what happens when you took those ten, bottles back to get your 10p. Hey, you're too young to remember that. No, I'm not Oh, hey, Nightmare you're... Creatures, I'll play that after this. No, gee, I don't know if, I don't know if they had it, but I, I'm sure they figured huh? it out. Don't... You used to get these, uh, there was this um, brand of uh, soda called Corona. A brand of and... soda called Corona? I don't know a brand of soda called Corona. No, 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 no but the gimmick was, right, that they came in glass bottles. And if you took mm. the bottle back, you got 10p. Ah, right. I see. Oh, bollocks. Yeah, definitely nightmare creatures after this. Uh. Noise. Wasn't there about that guy in the bar show, uh, Jazz Cup? Nice. Mm. You, used to, you used to do a really good impression of the painters. Is that what you want? Because that's what will happen. No, that's from Harry Enfield. The painters. Oh, yeah. Hey, black! Black! Ooh, the dark! They wait for me in the forest. <laughs> it's all then, mate. What's for tea, mother? <laughs> uh, I can't remember how... There is a technique to beat an Evander. I cannot remember how you do it, though. The thing is, someone's saying the you know, sort of sitting there, like, there's some truth to that, though. This is true, yes. Also, the Carolina Hearn character at the, the checkout, you know? Yeah, the checkout lady, yeah. Yeah. There used to be a woman who was just like that at my local Sainsbury's. <laughs> Comment on every bloody thing that you put in. I think Americans also probably have a lot of experience with shit like that as well. Uh, oh yes, Benny Elton, ter Terrible Coffin. Yeah, I do remember that. I remember terrible. that. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. That's a good sketch. <laughs> yeah, um, Ben Elton hasn't been funny for many years, unfortunately. Alas, no. Stand up wise, his books are still, some of them are still good. 
But it was like, you know, I remember Ben Elton in the 80s and the early 90s, and then someone introduced me to Bill Hicks, and it was like, <laughs> well, out there, you know, Bill Hicks is, you know, hmm. far better stand up comic. A League of Gentlemen fan. This is a local shop for local people. Are you a League of Gentlemen fan, sir? Uh, yeah, even though I know a lot of trans people had problems with it. I've oh, yes, it. yes, I know. I've only been on the Orbots 18 months! <laughs> Barbara! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello there, Bob Fleming here. Today we're going to be looking at an intriguing collection of old keys. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie, pig in the pokey. Yeah, pins. <laughs> Is it the key for this fire engine? I want to be a fire engine. Fire engine. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know his job options. Who was, who was the other one? The smart, smart one who was in the job. I forgot the name of the character, but the, in the third series he gets to fuck poorly. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Well, what, in the job centre? No, the third, the third, yeah, sort of. It, literally, you see it, you know, he's, 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 he's giving a rain on. Oh, nice. I didn't really watch the third series of um, League of Gentlemen much. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't as funny. I watched really... the first two, but didn't really watch the third one. But the first two were like sort of elaborate sketch shows, really. But then yeah. they tried to make it more of a comedy drama, and it didn't work for me. Hmm. Nah, me neither. I, watched, I think I watched the first episode of it, and there was a bit like, yeah, on it. Bit of a cut. I, I, I knew that that was a hit. Uh, there wasn't love afterwards. I was in a pub, right? And there was a really rowdy bunch there. The landlady came along and she said, uh, Right, you're all banned. <laughs> and, they, and they went, Oh, this is a local pub for local people. <laughs> and it's like, it wasn't love after. You know? No, yeah. It become a hit. Yeah. I've not seen Inside Number Nine. I've heard things of good things about it. I mean, Mark Gate. Mark, I tell you what. If he's on Bellyborn YouTube, Mark Gate is history of horror films. Mm hmm. It's really good. It's a really no. good series. No. Three parts. I remember Paul Merton did a really good series on silent comedy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, obviously, Mark Gates, he, he writes for Doctor... Uh, actually, he did... He, funny enough, Mark Gates got his break. He wrote... Um, when Doctor Who was taken right. off, yeah. it was first cancelled in 1999. They had a, there was a whole series of books they had. Hmm. And it's where Mark Gates sort of came to sort of prominence because he, he wrote... Doctor Who novels. Yeah. Funny, I've studied T. Davis. Right. But Russell T. Oh. Davis obviously sort of. Um, Hi, Steve. Clear as folk, I guess, is work where he became. Yeah. Right, sir. And to be honest, if you ask me, Doctor Who needs him back. I mean, there's mm -hmm. been one really, really good episode this series. But that was like the first episode in about five years I thought was really good. The first That's episode sad. in five years? Wow. What's the point no, of even fucking really, watching it? Really, <laughs> which really grabbed me, you know? I mean, I mean if, the, of... if there hasn't been a good episode of a show in five years, I'll probably stop watching it before. No, what I mean is, look, most, most, you know, it hasn't been like bad, bad episodes. It's just that, well, it has been with Chris Chipmull. I mean, like the whole of the last season, I was bored rigid. I just thought it was boring. I really did. Hmm. 
But the what the there was one really good episode this, this series, and there's been other couple of half decent ones. Mm. It is improving again, but what I mean is, it's like an an episode which really really grabs you, really yeah. grabs. You. Yeah. And that was the first time since Peter Capaldi's first season that there was there was an episode which really. Any particular me. theme, man? Not particularly. Stay just random games. Random. So stick in requests, basically. Have we got calm again? Uh, mm, don't think so, no. Uh, pretty close fight here between... Oh, nice. Oh, God, who's going to give out first? My energy bar or his head? Oh, his head's flashing. His head's flashing, folks. I'm, I know this is jolly exciting for all of you, but I need to prove that I can still beat Evander Holyfield after all this time. You alright? I'm just looking through stuff on uh, on uh, Launchbox and it's not working for me. Ah, yes! Got it. New, it, uh, there's a new, um, mm. new version. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple snogging in the crowd too. <laughs> there's someone either bouncing a baby or getting head. I think they're eating a burger. So yes, that's um, that's me just beating right. Evander Holyfield there, oh, just casually. On the ESG, you said we were going to launch a new, new, new show, didn't you? Hey, yeah, shit. Talking movies and music and stuff. What's happened to that? Yeah. We forgot. Yeah. Well, we'll do it. All right. It's just gone on the back burner. Okay. Um, what was I going to play after this? I, I, did, I did say, I did say something that I was going to play after Evander Holyfield. Yeah, it's not a particularly amazing game, but I used to play that a load. How about um? Oh, oh yeah, that was it. Nightmare creatures. Nightmare Creatures, I haven't played that game in yonks. Ah, yes. chat's got me back. Activision. Crazy bus. No. Oh, 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 oh. What? Uh, yes. I have, I have earned 0 0.01, well, I've actually basically earned a tenth of one of one, of, uh, actually earned, I've earned one cent from an article. Yay. Am I drinking tonight? No, Bellux. No drink. Mm. 
Well, she's been a good girl. I am being a good girl. I'm a good girl, I am. I haven't played this game in about 20 years. So this should be interesting. <laughs> I used to end this out a few times as well. The sun sets on London town. <laughs> the movie of Crazy Bus. Hmm. It'll be followed by the sequel of Desert to Desert Bus. Wow. Hmm, brown FMV. Oh yes, everything's brown in this game from what I remember of it. Right, I'm just going to go and get a glass of milk. A glass of milk? Yes. Go for it. I usually use to play as Nadia. I don't think I have a disc of this summer, actually. I remember I used to just getting completely lost in most of the levels in this game. Yeah, I think it'd have to be Keanu Reeves, Adam. Find the door to the workshop in Chelsea. Oh, nice. Vaguely remembering what the controls are. Stop that man! Oh, hello! Overblood, oh god! Hey Matt, how you doing? Uh, yes, this is a PS1 game. Good. Now I have got my glass of milk. I shall drink it. Well, just shut up and drink your milk. No. I'm not another one of these assholes. God, stop hitting uh, me! Oh. It's the best glass of milk I've ever had. The best glass of milk you've ever had? Wow, what is it? What? <laughs> Fuck off! God damn it! Wow, good stuff. Uh, Died already. Semi skimmed or full fat, you've been asked. Full fat. Full fat. <laughs> Why don't I still do it? Don't I still do double cream milk? I don't know. Do you know the name of the cow? No, no. No, I know. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Carbstrong would be very disappointed in me. <laughs> God, he's a wanker. Who? It's vegan guy, Jerry. 
Joey carves from. He, he goes about, he goes, oh, but obviously he goes to people who eat meat, and then he just bar- He just stands on the street having a go at them for eating meat. Me, uh, me. But I've got nothing against them. <laughs> Are you considering streaming your wedding on YouTube? We haven't even got, you know, to. God, <laughs> Well, we're a long way from that. We're a very, very long way away. <laughs> yeah, go on top middle. Do they still do it? I think so. Not that I have to go seeking it out, but I'm betting you can get it from my supermarkets and shit. The camera in this game is a white fucking bastard. Is it? Do you know him personally? Well, he's he's certainly annoying my interrupting really my game by oh, not okay. doing good things, so he's a cunt. Fuck him. It's a cunt! It's a cunt! Yeah. Sound like Ray Winston. Who's that daddy now? <laughs> Oh, I'm the daddy now. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, pop trivia, pop trivia question. There's an actor in in uh, Scum who went on to be in a very famous uh, sitcom. Very cult sitcom as well. Well, that's an obvious one, isn't it? Yeah, well, people should get it, but, you know, should get it. I want the name of the actor and the name of the sitcom he was in. Shame Nova Bug isn't in chat, he'd get it. He'd get it. he'd be saying it immediately. Oh dear Red Dwarf? Oh shit. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well that's that fucked, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> uh, but yes, he's a massive Red Dwarf fan. You did that on purpose. Got him! <laughs> Johnny can't rule. Yeah, yeah that's Steve did get me, yes, man. Oh, I'm I dead. Damn it. Hello, you tanking some... T well, to be fair, the question wasn't... The, the, the question wasn't, like... It was who started it. It's not... It wasn't, um... What was the sitcom? Well, that was half of it. Yeah. I never forget the line in, 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 in Red Wolf. Please um, broadcast an SOS message in all known languages and Welsh. God. Thank you, Rakraf. I know there was, there was the other line. Uh, uh, can we get. <laughs> Uh, uh, we need to go to Red Alert. Candy pop or but sir, Please that means we're going to have to change the light bulb. Hmm. Um. Just for the sheer... I have a lot more nostalgia towards Spaceman. I used to love that song when I was like, um, like nine. <laughs> I mean, Finn is the actual, the, like, the, the regular mix of it is pretty awesome. Like, the, the mix that was actually in the adverts. That was what, um made it so successful. It wasn't the fucking load of butt rock that kind of followed it, but... Oh god, Evil Zone. Are they actually planning on making a Serbian film into a video game? Jeez, I doubt it. <laughs> Soul Weaver. Ooh. That's a question. Yeah, this game does have a bit of a soundtrack, um, whatever the reason doesn't work. A note pinned to the door tells of a secret meeting in Spitalfield. Ooh, Spitalfield Market. Let's go and get some street food. Oh wow, look at this motherfucker. Go to the kitchens at Spitalfield. Get to go to a Bleaker Burger. Yeah, I remember, I remember the space when, you know, trouble is that was, that was sort of like the whole thing um, in the 90s, wasn't it? Uh, 
uh, you know, you have a, a you know, someone an advert and they'll go to number one. I mean, that's how the Clash scored a number well, one. Well, yeah. Funny enough, a lot of them were for Levi's ads. The Clash got a decent band in their own time. Mm. Um, I mean, Clash Clash got it from Levi's ad. Um, do you remember, remember do you, does anyone remember a stilt skin? Oh, God, yeah. Inside. That was from the Levi's ad. <laughs> also, um, there was, um... No, sorry, Matt. Uh, uh, there was that one with the trans woman in the back of the taxi, the La Free soundtrack. I don't remember that one. Ah, oh, that's a uh, game over, I think. Well, it's a very, it'd be seen as a very transphobic advert now. This is like Taxi Driver. And this woman climbs into the back of the taxi. Oh, is it a. F I, 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 well, I think Marcus M might have mentioned it. Is it Flat Beat you're talking about? Possibly. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. But basically, he's up, the taxi driver is eyeing her up. Hmm. And, then he gets, and then she gets an electric razor out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a bit of Nightmare Creatures. That was uh, intriguing, I suppose. Mr. Wazo. Uh, what now? Who thought the lead sin of Stiltskin was a good idea to sin for Genesis? Oh, God, yeah. That well, album was dreadful. <laughs> well, most Genesis albums are dreadful. Well, this one... Well, I mean, I... Disagree, but this one in particular <laughs> was one of the worst albums I've ever heard. Let's play a bit of Soul Weaver because Stay requested it, and he's a cool guy. Um, uh, yeah, I always remember those hippies used to say to me, You know, Genesis were good when, uh, before Phil Collins was the lead, so they're gonna go, No, they were shit, just a shit thing as they were afterwards. Okay, well, that didn't work for some reason. Um, that's annoying. Yeah, well, I would describe I would describe Phil Collins, uh, you know, as estate agent rock. For people <laughs> who don't actually like rock music. Oh, why isn't that work? Uh, Soul Weaver doesn't seem to be working. Damn it. That sucks. Um... Will we be playing Toad the Wet Sprocket at the wedding reception? A PS1 racer. Okay, I've got one. No, we're gonna be we're gonna be getting married to Motorhead. <laughs> that's what. That's the first dance. Is it Ace of Spades? Yeah. Or um, Love Me Like a Reptile. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to have at my funeral, uh, uh, uh Motorhead killed by death. <laughs> Indeed, denied. Actually, someone suggested that someone suggested once that they that, that, that uh, when they died, they said, "I'm gonna have the stone roses." I'm the resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, uh, how about um? No, I'm fine. Hence the weather. How about Flying Shark? Flying Shark? Yeah. Well, I'll play a bit of Rage Racer. Rage Racer! Because you're so full of rage! Nine, Nine Inch Nails, The Art of Self Destruction. Um, I, don't remember, I don't remember Nine Inch Nails being on a Levi's advert. Something about that name rings a bell. You see, I remember in the 80s, they started off with, like, 60, so they had, like, Marvin Gaye, uh, had it for the great fight, and then there was, um, Amy King, Stand By Me, but the reason that one's number one wasn't just because it was the Levi's ad, but, um, oh, God, what's that Rob Reiner film? Uh, Thank you for the five of that, Um, what, the Nine Inch Nails film with? No, no, the Rob Reiner film, uh... Um, Stand by me. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, funny. A film. Yeah. That it was obviously it was in that. It was, it, it was in that film. Yeah. Um. So that's why it went to, really went to number one. 
Um, strange, strange bedfellows. Yeah, Disney wants to make you know, uh, you know, uh, a big uh, on-screen version of Popeye. Oh, I know. Who shall we get to direct it? Oh no, it's a Marvel house director. <laughs> yeah, I seem to remember there being other vehicles in this game. I don't know where they all are. Apparently there's two laps to go. Yeah, I need to I need to do the drifting and all that more. I keep doing it too oh, early and hitting the court. Oh, oh god, um, that is, uh, oh god Yan at heart, don't even begin. That fucking Oh god. Uh, Eddie Reader. Uh, yeah, uh, there was this girl I know who just played that Oh, song. yeah, that, that is why. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to restart again. Fuck this. Um, yeah, I chose Time Attack. Oh, well, bollocks. Um, yeah, never mind. Let's actually do a Grand Prix then. <laughs> Blue bells are bad, folk. The levelers are good, folk. <laughs> Fairport Convention is best, folk. Three, two, one, go. Or Pentangle. <laughs> Or steel I spent all around my arse. My great big arse. Wouldn't you agree, so? Yeah, that was a good song. Yeah, yeah, that's a good song. But Caravan of Love, please. Wow. <laughs> that's just a Christmas song. Every woman, every man. Oh, God. my! Yes. Um, and Pixie's mid but the first Pixie's Midnight uh, Runners album is the best. Yes. Although 2i8 is a really good album. They're both. Um, all three of their records are good. I mean, I haven't heard the new stuff that they've done, but. But I like Dexys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kevin, Kevin Rowland's a bit of a strange character, but. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I would definitely say that uh, the, the one thing you always find about his music is it's very intense. Yes. 
All very strong male emotions. Yeah. Because... Uh, oh yeah, people might not be... Uh, people might, yeah, people here might not remember this. But, um... Sexy's win by runners. Mm-hmm. Especially how intense, um... Kevin Rodin is, right? He was on top of the pop singing, um... Jackie Wilson. And they had a photo... Of Jockey Wilson. Jockey Wilson. <laughs> and he never noticed it. No. Yeah, Gino is a classic. Yeah. Whoa, Gino. Uh, this is, unlike Nightmare Creatures, this is definitely a game that has still held up. Especially now we've got other people to race against. Oh, more from Ratcrab. Thank you again for all these donations, Ratcrab. You're awesome. Another Nanny Levi's at a Nanny in Manhattan. Use the cable free Atlantic. Cable Freeze the Atlantic? I can't even remember. I, how does that even go? The country. Every device in the dollar will be worth five British pounds. <laughs> our house. In the middle of our house. Our house. In the middle of our house. <laughs> When you played these games, you always win the One Way Award. That's what I used to do in Grand Theft Auto 4 online in the race mode. Crash at the first corner and then just go the one way around the track and fuck everyone else up. <laughs> I love madness. I don't, I don't dislike them, I just not a fan. On a sprite advert, okay. Freeze the... I don't even... What, what, advert, what advert was it that it was um, Brand Van 3000 drinking in LA? That was, um, was that Sprite as well? Or was that some, or was that 7-Up? I'm sure that was some soft drink. Madness the band for people who hate music. Oi! Genesis with Bill Collins. Now the band for people who hate music is the Lighthouse Family. <laughs> no, that's that's not music. That's music. <laughs> that's shit you hear in a lift. <laughs> we can be lifted. Damn it! I just can't get the hand of drifting. No. Rolling rock. Okay. Yeah, but there were other fans around at the Lighthouse Family. Oh, bloody hell, there we go. They were sort of similar. Uh, M People comes to mind. Oh, yes. Oh, God, M People. My at fucking school. I swear, literally, every time we had some award ceremony, they would play. They would play Search for the Hero. I hate that song so much. You're gonna slip for the hero inside yourself. No, I wouldn't say that Westlife are a band. Well, actually, no. Uh, they're, they're definitely up there, actually. But then a lot of young uh, young'uns also liked Westlife as well. Any thoughts on Matt Nickelback? No. Move on. Well, Nickelback are also up there as a band, like, you know, what we're talking about. But no. See the thing is, music, for, really... music that people, music for people who like music is like the sort of thing that would be in David Brent's CD collection. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's just that like. Des I, remember, I remember the original grunge bands, okay? Hmm. And right, and then all of a sudden in the late nineties, we had this sort of like post grunge. Bullshit. Just tweet me or something. Hence the weather. With Creed. Oh. Okay. And Nickelback. 
Creed and I remember a band called Summer Daniel Griffiths. They used they were like, that was like late nineties, early two thousands time. I do remember them. They like kind of they were a bit like a sort of industrially gothy sort of metally sound. Who? A band called Summer. Summer, I don't remember them. They were kind of I they used to get play on like MTV two back in like the early two thousands and shit. Oh Lord, Gin Stampede, you're thinking of Beast Wrestler. Yes, Desiree Life, yeah, that, that's the song. <laughs> I'd rather have a piece of toast and watch the Desiree evening news. <laughs> life, oh life. <laughs> Remember Lolly, oh God, yeah, her cover of Mickey. One, go. Oh Mickey, you're so fine. Kavanagh? Fucking hell. Oh yeah, he did a terrible cover of I Can Make You Feel Good. Oh yeah. Now there's a good band. Rest in peace, Pete still. Yeah, rest in peace, Pete. I mean, he was 48 when he died. Fucking hell. Oh, I'm nah. 45 now. Well, he probably took a lot more drugs. Yeah, um, yeah, um, uh, yeah. Um, what Everything was... dies. Why like Static also died uh, about that age as well. Yeah. Ah, uh, the chat's just listing the most terrible 90s bands they can think of at the moment. Blazing Squad, oh god. Blazing Squad's cover of Crossroads was an act of utter sacrilege. That was just horrifying. Do I remember the 90s reggae part? What? Um... Ace of Base. Actually, as Wad. Chakademus and Pliers. Anyone remember Vanilla? No way, no way. Man, I'm a now. Very now, yeah. Well, <laughs> for Not Ma today. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember Informer. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I do, well, I do know Informer. It was kind of a little bit for my time, but. Bring back Zig and Zag. No, no, no. <laughs> I used to have a really cool Zig and Zag shirt. I used to wear it all the time. And this is actually not too long ago. It probably is of your, of your generation. Oh, Zig and Zag. Oh, oh, God, yeah. Big Breakfast. Well, I mean, I know they kind of they were, they were around before that, but that was where I got to know them, as most people did. Handsome. Mm -hmm. oh, ah! I remember one of the lamest attempts at a boy band, I remember there was actually a boy band called E-Mail and they had one song and it was called We Are E-Mail. I mean that was just the most late 90s crap. I've got, I've, I've got to take issue with fuck generic shooters. Uh, look, Alison Chase started off as a glam rock band. Look, I'm not saying they're bad, okay? But they did actually start off as a glam band. Seriously. Yes, but they are the best. Yeah, but... They didn't actually, they never released an album as a glam rock band. True. And they are, and they are, and they are one of the, they are an amazing band. Yeah, I'm not denying, I'm not, look, I'm not, I'm not saying, I mean, you know, Dirt is a brilliant album, okay? Yeah. Um, but they were always like more them. metal side of grunge. They were just dark as hell. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean, what was it? Most songs arrive about killing the, uh, Dane Stanley killing himself, or Dane Stanley's heroin addiction. Heroin addiction, yeah. <laughs> Too right? unlimited, oh god. Oh, oh right, yeah, yeah. okay. There's right, this, is, this is guy, there's this guy yesterday, right? And he said to me about, remember the Too Unlimited video, right? Yeah. Where she, like, thumbs up like a Donald A tracks. Yes. Right, he went to the, uh, he went, uh, well, I was like in Denmark with relatives and they were out and I was, that was on MTV and I had a wank to it. Yeah, I really <laughs> Nice, thanks for telling me. Thanks so much for knowing. You know all their lyrics, Greg, fucking hell. Well, all the lyrics to their one song. No, 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 There's no limits. More like no, no. No, 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 no,
man. <laughs> oh god, Jive Bunny. Yeah. Oh, you see, that's the sad thing. That's yeah, sort of funny. three rounds before, you know, there were, you know, it was on Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is what a funny I'm talking about Ben Elton. One of his funniest routines was about Tampa, man. Pato Banton, oh god, baby come back. With fucking twelve from track from UB40. What yeah, is it? Is Ali? Well, Zerofin has sort of um, redeemed himself. I mean, he was in Game of Thrones. He's a good. He's a legitimate actor. Yeah. Well, w Robson Green, not Robson Green acts, but he also does fishing. Robson Green's extreme fishing. Oh god, <laughs> I know I know of when and Renato. Yes, save yeah. your laugh, my darling. I've seen many a horrible karaoke cover of that one. <laughs> Wakefield said the day, no? mm. <laughs> Oh god, this is like the worst song from the nineteen nineties. Yes, we're just we're just making like the most awesome nineties playlist. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best, the crash test dummies, the, the first song. Um. They've got some good songs actually, they're, they're a decent band. Uh, Boss was more 80s, late 80s. Mar Marky Mark, oh yes, I remember Marky Mark, yeah. Of course. Good vibrations. Vanilla ice. Oh, God, no. Ugh. Ugh. Yep, that was pretty shit, man. Okay, it's the last trick. Can some people suggest some decent songs, please? This is the bloody song. <laughs> Lost race. Bah. Um, that was a bit of Rage Racer. Rage Racer! <laughs> oh god, uh, yes, I remember when Andy Cole put out a song, Matthew. It was called Outstanding. It was not Outstanding. <laughs> do you remember when, do you remember when uh, Status Quo teamed up with Manchester United? Yeah, come on your reds. Come on your reds, come on your reds. Something like that. Yeah. Do you know that um, New Order wanted to... It would, I mean, does anyone know, actually, I've got a trivia question. Does anyone know what New Order originally wanted to call World in Motion? I don't know. You don't know? Ooh. Anyone know? You you normally come with the trivia questions. What did New Order originally want to call the song the World in Motion for the 1990 World Cup? Yeah, um, it relates back to something we were talking about earlier. Oh, someone just mentioned Rick Astley. People should go and check this out. Rick, uh, the Foo Fighters had Rick Astley uh, uh, feature in one of their shows, and they actually did do a version of uh, "Never Gonna Give You Up." <laughs> just tweet me, hence the weather. No, not ball in motion. No, not the final solution. Some Nazi Hoddle, reference. Hoddle, 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 Hoddle. God, yes, Jesus. James, what James James Roberts has it. James got it. They wanted to call it E is for England. Yeah. I wonder why that was turned down. Yes, the FA FA weren't that stupid, but um, <laughs> they weren't that naive. But yes, that is why they, that is what they wanted to call it, um, based on you know the loved up actions of the time so well done james um okay cool watch me play now um let's see motion in the ocean no that's that's the b-52s um earthworm jim oh, why not why not why not a bit of earthworm jim 
I'm terrible at Earthworm Gym, but I'll play it. <laughs> Best Christmas song. Uh, Kevin Bloody Wilson, Santa Claus, you cunt. Um, best Christmas song. Oh. Hold on, it's fucking February. Why are we talking about Christmas? Mm. New Junk City. Crisscross, yeah, I wonder what happened to that, you know, when they grew up, what happened? Uh, nothing good, I think. I think one of them died. I know one of Midi Vanilli committed suicide. Yeah. Um, I don't think the, um, the story of Crisscross had a particularly good ending either. Saviour's Day. Saviour's Day, God. <laughs> Ah, ah, here's a pop trivia question for you. Yeah. What, uh, what, what knocked that off the number one spot? So that was Christmas 19. I know, I know what it was. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anyway. Pretty sure I know. And believe me, it was not a good song by that band. No. Oh, but it was very different from the from other things that were usually at number one. Yeah. Yeah, Fairs of Face, yeah. They did. And they had one of the Make My Video games. Did old Chris Cross. Yep, James Roberts has it again. Yeah, James, right? Yeah, it was. It was. Bring your daughter. Bring your daughter. Bring your daughter, bring your daughter, daughter to the water. Water. Let her go. Yeah, it's not a good song by Iron Maiden, to say the least, but. It's. January's, a weird, January's always a weird month in the charts. That's when songs like that get to number one, usually. Oh yeah. Damn dog. Lousy mutt. Originally a Bruce Dickinson solo track. That doesn't really surprise me. Fuck. Oh god yeah, Ed Hunter. Yeah, that. I don't recall that being particularly good. That album or game to throw out. Oh, my, have I made another computer game? Have you made? Um, well, yeah, there was a game called Ed Hunter, which um, yeah. was yeah based off. Yeah, the monster. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fuck off. Oh, fuck off! Oh, you come. I'm fucked. Cunt! <sighs> I think we need more cowbell. <laughs> but yes, the, the funniest Saturday night live sketch. I have a fever. <laughs> And there's only, there's only prescription for it. <laughs> well, that one and the one about Sarah Palin. Mm. 
um, uh, with the, the famous American interviewer, and then suddenly, you know, asked me harder and harder questions, and eventually said, "Can I find a friend?" <laughs> I thought they were from Basildon. Depeche Mode were from Basildon. Hmm. Local Harlem were from Southend. Dr. Feelgood are from Canvey. Yeah, which is nearby. Well, yeah. Warning. Well, you, you've said you've often seen Jonesy walk around town. Jonesy? What, you mean, you mean Wilco? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that I've seen him a couple times. I had a picture taken with him once. Unfortunately, I don't have said picture anymore. Rocks it! I've been searching all through the city. See you in the morning down by Legit. Oh, Bruno was from South Africa. The lead singer. Yes. In fact, he was found at the Ames in Durban, which is, which is near where I come from. Hmm. Near your ends. Did I, I used to watch Yo MTV Raps? Um, the only I real have... Yo that we had here in the UK that I remember, we had like a... Anyone who says, right, that drugs are bad, well, let me just tell you something. Even if you're Bill Wicks again. The more, the more, the more heroin Depeche Mode did, it's better than music. Hmm. Culminating in um, songs of, you know, faith and devotion, devotion, which is, it, which is a brilliant album. Hmm. But they were all really fucked up on heroin at the time. Hmm. As far as Yo MTV raps goes, the only things, like we had, there was like there was a hip hop program just called Yo. That was on at like midnight around the time that I started watching MTV. It wasn't really Yo MTV raps as such, it was just called Yo. Um, and they used to be the lick with Trevor Nelson. Which was kind of like the rap R&B version of the uh, brand new program with uh, Zane Lowe. Those are the things I remember. I hate this fucking boss. I, I don't even know how you beat this boss. I just randomly shoot the fucking thing and hope that it's actually working. I hate this. Whatever. Um, so that was a bit of a fun tune. See, the thing is, I actually think Vince Clark leaving, leaving the best mode was the best thing for them. Because, uh, you know, he wanted to do electro pop. Fine, mm. if you like that sort of thing. Their stuff just got, uh, yeah, they basically were a lot more, it was a lot more sort of dark and, you know, mm. and more adult focused. Yeah. Marcus M says, footy game, please. Ooh, okay. A footy gamer? Hmm. Well, there's only one footy game she likes. I like lots. I like loads of football games. Uh, one above all others. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's boring. Like, we've got to pick something else. Um, Let's play a bit of older f classic FIFA on Mega Drive scene as well on Mega Drive. Where's FIFA 95? Yeah. Mm. Why, why don't I why don't I have FIFA ninety five on here? Ah, wait a minute. Nice. Yeah, you like writing my uh, my my uh, burps, don't you? <laughs> it's FIFA ninety five or is it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turns out I do have it. It's just weird. How about Football Glory? Oh, could play a bit of Football Glory actually in a bit. I'll play this first though. 
Manson. I like I like a few yeah, Manson songs. What's up with the fixtures in the Premier League at the moment? There's only two tomorrow and two on Sunday. Really? Is this something to do? Are they still in that winter break thing? Oh, is it? Are they having a winter break? I didn't know they were having a winter break. Yeah, they've just started doing shit like that, yeah. Uh, let's play as Man United, whatever the fuck. Um, oh, actually, yeah, why not? Man United against... Uh... Fucking... Uh, I, I have to say, the footballers are turning into right fucking wusses. You mean... You watch, you watch a game in September, there'll be yeah, some, someone wearing gloves. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, do me a favour. Do me a favour? Yeah, you know, I remember when, you know, the, you know, the, the, used to play with fucking, you know, you couldn't see the fucking grass, it was just butt. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I remember when you used to be able to break a per both person's legs, both of their legs, and just get a yellow card for it. Yeah. Fucking days of Norman Hunter and Bomber ha Chopper Harris. Yeah. Well, I don't remember those days, but I remember Vinnie Jones. Can. Um. Proper when when men were fucking men, and we used to have a white fucking fight on the terraces. It's a famous. I forgot who Francis Lee was having a fight with. Um, uh, I think was that Norman Hunter. He I'm possibly, sure it was Norman Hunter. He yeah. literally had a punch up. Yeah, it was Norman Hunter. Lips. Yeah. Norman, bite your legs, Hunter. Our good night, stay. A white ruck. We'll have a white straight in the wheel on the pitch. I remember when um, Graham Lasso and David Batty had a massive fight and they were on the same team. And also Kieran Dyer and Lee Bowyer for Newcastle. And then, of course, there was that scrap between uh, Graham Lasso and uh, Robbie Fowler. Yes. Because, yeah. <laughs> Those were the days. <laughs> I'm just, I'm saying, it's fucking, fucking you, it's too cold to go play football, I mean, for fuck's sake, <laughs> let's bring around this weather, I can't footballers. Bunch of bloody whoopsies, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Who's the toughest player in the Premiership now? Fuck knows. You can't do anything like that on. You can't do anything like that on the pitch anymore. You get sent off. Yeah. Ain't the same. Bring back Vinnie Jones. Bring back fighting. Yeah. Jumpers for goalposts, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> it, it, it. Marvelous. Oh, mummy, I just scored a goal. That's brilliant, son. Come and have chips and beans for your tea. <laughs> so, um, uh, ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a bit of an echo on the stream, Tom. Oh, I, I sound like the voice of Christmas past, do I? <laughs> yeah, it's because you've got an echo. Echo, echo. This is a... Echo, echo. It's because I don't bother wearing headphones. <laughs> wearing headphones would be the professional thing to do, but I I don't do it. <laughs> so this game can be a bit annoying to actually play, you know. 
Let me just <coughs> lift the bloody ball up the field. That's not really the best fucking thing to do. And it's been one of the mildest winters in recent years. They're doing it for the purpose of uh, getting doing better. Oh wow, Lossimo, and Andy M, thank you for the tenor. Is Canvey part of Southend? Well, it's part of Southend. Actually, no, it's not. It's not really. No, Canvey's part of a Castle Point Council, so not really. Loved Wilco here. Feel good. Hell yeah. Yeah, Wilco. He's he's cool. He's an awesome fella. I've seen him live. Um at Village Green. It was supposed to be his, um, which is like a local festival. It was actually supposed to be his last gig like ever. And it was kind of a surprise because um, this was at the time when he had a cancer. Um, like really bad and people were always going to die. Um, but then he recovered. But then he played a fantastic gig. It was amazing. So yeah, that was very special. And thank you as well, Smitten Pie, for the super sticker. Remember, Thank you so much, folks. Yeah, if anyone gets a chance, check out the Julian up. Temple film. Uh, oil, oil Sea Confidential, Temple. yeah, definitely. The game that I'm best at, um, Space Harrier 2? <laughs> not good at that many games. You're not good at any games? I, I just say I'm not, well, well, no, I'm, I'm good at some games. Yes, but I'm better at cards than you. Yes. I don't dispute that. Yeah, you weren't exactly encouraging me, weren't you, the last time? <laughs> well, I was drunk. Yeah, that was all right. You know, you know, and I'm telling you, I walked into the, 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 the casino and 20, put 20 quid on the table. Before I know it, I was getting like 100 odd quid. I know, she's having a right lucky streak. Rather than, rather than, uh, rather than, like, go, good on you, she was going, you motherfucker, you cheeky motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm a professional amateur, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, yeah, I suppose I'm okay at fire shop. What's in the library behind you? Just a bunch of games. I'm a bit tasty at Shinobi, um, until I get to the third boss, then, you yeah. know. Then things go wrong. Speaking of her going room, one, I'm now her, one nil down. Her room is really small. It is small. Right, it's so small. But her bed's really comfortable. No wonder she spends so much time in it. I don't. I don't spend all my time in bed. I work. I work from home. Yeah, I know. You work from your bed. Right, come on. Let's get... Try and, can these bloody cunts get forward? Oh, go on. Oh, you fucked it up! Uh, she's not very good at that game, Daniel. What game? Magic Poppy, so I don't like her game. I'm actually okay at it. Hmm. I'm, am I the red and white team or the red and white team? Um, I'm the red and white team. The one that's mostly red. The one that's losing. Play football glory after this. There was actually a game. I did send Kim a copy. I don't know if she's still got it. She couldn't load it onto a uh, computer. Oh yeah, that hooligans game. Yeah, I just couldn't load it at all, unfortunately, which was a pain in the ass because it sounded really interesting. Yeah, you, yeah. It's it's like an RTS. Damn, I lost. But, well, let's play football, glory. You 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 you're basically a football, uh, you know, head of a yeah. firm. 
ahead of a firm. And, and when you get things wrong, I, I did have a copy ages ago. And when you get things wrong, he goes, Oi, you fucking muppet! <laughs> yeah, it's a shame it didn't work. That would have been really fun to actually do like a quickie little video on because I don't I'd literally never heard of it. I couldn't find barely anything on it. Spam the pass button to run quicker. Yeah, I always try it but I end up losing the ball. So this is by Quo Team who went on to do Serious Sam. Believe it or not. Aren't they Croatian? Yes, hence the name. Hmm. Hence the name. Uh, let's play. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I had a look, and from what from what I could find, there's it just does not run on like Windows eight or Windows ten. Yeah, there's um, there is a video. There's a there is a forty minute video of hooligans on YouTube. Oh wow! Uh, hooligans storm over Europe. Ah, let's play against the old enemy. The old enemy. It, it was meant to be satirical. Yay. <laughs> that was not the last computer game I remember which caused a lot of controversy. Really? It caused controversy? How come I've never heard of it then? It's funny actually, because I, I, I... You know, you look back... I remember when the Charlie Brooker did the uh, uh, 25 video games that changed the world, right? Yeah. Um, and he talks about, because I remember in the early 90s, the alarm there was about, I mean, you look back on it, it's fucking laughable, right? Oh, yeah. And you get the panties in a bind about Mortal Kombat and, and Street Fighter at that time. Hmm. And what I think it is, is that, um, or, or even Carmen, I mean, Carmen Gellin was banned in this country for Yeah, it was, yeah, it was, yeah. That's stupid. But anyways... What I was what I was saying is um I think the reason is is that at that time computer games, computer games were still relatively new and I think when hmm. something's relatively new there's always this 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 you know moral panic about it oh yeah um, totally you know it's remember, like the remember, it's the thin end of the wedge you know I remember the the eighties people started getting video records and of course there's all that crap about video nasties video nasties and I'll never forget when. In the late 90s, they started to unban some of these films. Like, someone said, Oh, you're going to get a copy of Drilly Killer. And I'd seen it. And I said, Look, just because it's a film, uh, film bad does not mean it's good. Right? Quite and the opposite, yet. often. <laughs> Sorry? Quite the opposite, sometimes. Well, I, I, I always say this about Abel Ferrer and Drilly Killer. I said, Look, Drilly Killer is a one gag film. He lit, you know, some guy hmm. lives next door to the, the rehearsal room for the worst punk band in, in, in New York, and he goes nuts, with, you know. That's saying well, something. <laughs> that's a 30-minute film, short film, okay? Hmm. I get it, right? The thing is, he's, he's, funny enough, Abel Ferreira's the next film, Miss 45, is far better. Hmm. Um, but, as I was saying, the, hmm. the, video, the whole the video nasty thing, right, was basically... You know, panic about something which is new. Yeah, you know, we've mm. always had this. The we shock of the new. We had it. You know, I mean, I never forget when there was all this outcry about you know. Oh God! Video, how did I miss? Violent video games in the nineties and video games are addictive and all that bullshit, right? Mm. I remember Newsnight did actually uh, uh, did a segment on it, right? And actually, had Dominic Diamond come on and did a yeah. video. Game. And I remember that this film, and I said, well, haven't we heard this all before? And they brought up, like, stuff people said in the 50s about television. Hmm. Right? And it, it was exactly that, the same. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, you all know. these, yeah, all the grass marks down the pitch, which is kind of cool. Hold on a sec. So, uh, all I say is that it's just, uh, you know, old fogies who just haven't caught up with them, you know, uh, just have yeah. grass marks. You know, I'll never forget the outcry there was from, like, when they brought in the public smoking ban. Yeah. And 
Yeah, I, I still like there was this there was this there was this, there was this community center actually it's still around mm. uh, nearby, and a lot of people I know, disabled people and people with, like with mental health problems, used to go in there. What they used to do is they used to sit in the fucking smoking room all day, drink coffee, and bitch about their life, right? Mm. And a couple of years before the the no smoking ban, uh, the public smoking ban came in. I mean, it was on the cards if you kept going to come. Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. So, I remember, I had a, I had a, you know, there was a vote um, on whether to get rid of it, and it was voted to get rid of it. And I remember all these sort of like middle-aged people who used to come and go, yeah, oh God, you know, yeah, like really, you know, they, they couldn't grasp that the world was changing. And I still get people coming up to me and going, well, it's still been associated, they've got this moment in the smoky room. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and they did that about, Almost About years yeah, ago. yeah, a long bloody time ago now. Um, so yeah, this is obviously yeah, this is a lot like Sensible Soccer, and if you if yeah, if very much kind of a homage, um, such a homage to Sensible Soccer that um, Renegade did get it pulled off the shelves for about a while. <laughs> Although I did have a copy back in the day. The Mary White House sex tape. Ugh. God, can you imagine? <laughs> what I would say to people is check out the the Frank called uh, Victor Lewis briefcase. Mm. <laughs> Although check out the Michael Winner one first because that's the best one. I mean that one is amazing. Yeah, but doesn't he say to her like at one point? Doesn't he say like, "I want to lick your cunt or something"? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> What do you see? <laughs> Bloody like, I can't score for shit. I know what's up with me. Usually I can score for, I mean, like, on command in this game. But, um... Jonathan Meads, right? Mm. Now, Jonathan, for those who might not know, Jonathan Meads does these sort of like highbrow type... Oh, yes. Um, Documentaries and shit. Yeah, about architecture. But it's, it's a bit more than about buildings, okay? Mm. Um, and he's got into trouble in the past for, for dropping, you know, certain swear words, including mm. the C word, mm. right? And he said, well, you know, he said, people complain, he said, yeah, but people fucking swear, that's what they do! Yeah. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> you know, I used to remember the days when if you said cunt in a film, it was an automatic 18 certificate. That was it. Mm. Yeah. And then I think yeah. it was when I saw Inside Man. Uh, yes. You know, Clive Owen. Uh, Jodie Foster. Um, directed, yeah. Spike Lee, yeah. yeah. Yeah, now that was the first film I remember. It probably wasn't the first film to have, you know, be this, but it was the first film I remember. It was a 15 certificate, and, they, and there was the use of the C word, and it was like, mm. it was like, right, right. Um, people being a bit more liberal about it. Mm. You know, I always used to remember that when, when I was a kid, they, had, they used to have, um, uh, you know, the kids on from uh, Grange Hill. <laughs> the only kids on telly who don't say. Yeah, well, you see, that was that was that was it. They would say, "Well, how is it different from you, you, you know the schools you go to?" And well, they would go, "Well, the language." Yeah. Yeah. Um, Constructors is a good game. It's pretty hard to get into, Jack. Like, it can be quite tricky. Oh God, Hattie Jack's pretentious cheese. Yeah, because <laughs> it's 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 hard to grasp now. But Ross Kemp used to be in EastEnders. <laughs> Grant Mitchell. Yeah. Do you? Ever, I don't know if you ever spit the image. They had a yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a, like a BBC. The BBC. The journalists at the BBC were having a dispute with with the, the higher ups at the BBC. So they went out on strike. So they basically they had this. The, the, oh. They said, said, grab the, the, uh, 
basically they said, well, here's what you do with Jeremy Pax, but they, they said around the right, Mitchell, see it, sort of out. Hang on. Right, weirdest thing I've seen on um, YouTube recently, right? this is this guy called, a uh, channel called Defunctland, right? Mm. It's, and this guy, like, he's always going on about fucking Disney. And like, he's a grown up guy. He sounds like he's, you know, almost my, maybe even, you know, about my age, right? And he does it in such a serious way. Yeah. And uh, he did a series on Jim Henson. Yeah. And the way he was doing it about Fraggle Rock, I was going, oh my God. <laughs> you know, what does he do? Actually, he probably doesn't have any friends for the fact that he, he likes Fraggle Rock and he's 40 years old. <laughs> You're so nasty sometimes. Who? Hey. You! It doesn't seem weird. What, did, what, what do I do on this bloody place? I, I cover old games. <laughs> I haven't done my. Oh, I Gee. could do my usual impression, but I'm getting into trouble, so I'm not doing it. Uh. Unless people want me to do it. Your what? My normal impression. Oh, no, don't. <laughs> no, I don't want you to get you into trouble with other people. Uh... <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't know, I just found it a bit odd. I, 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 I'm not saying he's bad or anything. I just found it a bit odd. <laughs> whereas, uh, whereas there's another channel uh, called Little Car. There's a guy looking into Matchbox and Corgi and stuff. And I don't find that odd for some reason. Yeah, you could say the same thing. <laughs> hey ho. I'm not saying he's bad or anything, I'm just saying he's personal. I know, it's just like, oh, well, he's got no mates. It's like... Well... <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's a bloody jolly no mate, isn't he? He's a fucking loser, can Fucking he's square. Like Nerd. Mm. Oh, I mean... He's a bloody straight. A clean shirt. Oh god, that, yeah, it's been kind of a week, hasn't it, Addy Sneaker Freak? No, I don't want to talk about it that much, though. If he's a cunt, that's the end of it. Yeah. And it's a shame, because he used to make, he, he's made some good videos. Hmm. I'm sure if anyone wants to no, then they can find it on Atari Age and other places like that. I'm sure Tipster will do a video on it because that's the sort of thing Tipster does videos about. But Tipster is a good bloke. It's a boy, Tipster. I, he, he is a good bloke. Mm. Uh, he, he stuck up for Octavius. Yeah. yeah. See, I can be nice about people. <laughs> I know, you are you are a sweetheart at heart. I'm nice when you get to know me. You're not all piss and vinegar. Oh god, I've got you into trouble again, haven't I? What? With who? Well, to fun fact, he's gonna find out about this, isn't he? Yeah. Well you're pissing you out saying you I haven't got any mates on Oh, I doubt it. Oh god, Robert Kelly, are you talking about that fucking guy who's uh he's he's in Japan and he's a oh my god and he's just a it's just a complete ridiculous train wreck. Like he leaves his wife and then he gets back with and he doesn't learn the language and he's homeless 
but he's got lots of daddy's money and all shit like that. Is that who you're talking about? Yes, I did say piss and vinegar, frazzle face. <laughs> I forget that guy's name. See, see, I just go off. If you go and read my medium blog, then you'll find I just go off on one. <laughs> I'll never forget many years ago I wrote an article and at the end of it, and, and my mate Norrie always reminds me of this. He said, I wrote, and I just, I don't know what, I just jokingly wrote. I said, oh, this has been a good. Uh, this has been a good rant. I've said cunt three times. And, <laughs> uh, and, he, and he, you know, he goes, oh, right, okay, so that's, <laughs> so that's how you, how, how you, uh, you know, how, how you measure, uh, uh, you know, you, the quality of your articles, the amount of times you say cunt in it. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was one article I'll never forget, right, where um, I, it was about, 500 words long, and I checked out how many times I said fuck, and it was 40 times. <laughs> so, that's nearly 10% yeah. of the total words in the article. <laughs> Kyle, wanna. Oh. I feel a bit like um, if you're if you if you're talking about the channel that Robert Kelly's talking about, Carl 102, I think it's called Hiding in My Room. I believe is what the reference is to. Get a swear jar to fund the wedding. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> God, we both we broke. Yeah. I mean, you still get people get really hung up about the, the, the you know bad language. I mean, a certain Caroline Cosy comes to mind. Mm -hmm. It is quite satisfying, Greg. You're right. Oof. Ah. Isn't it all of that? I hope so. <laughs> it's a bit mad otherwise. He certainly makes his life seem like a complete and utter train wreck. I ever do point and click videos or streams um um streams wise like if it was if i was just playing that one game so england versus scotland that finished eight all <laughs> pretty bloody mad have i heard the latest about dsp oh isn't it that he's bankrupt or something or that he's declaring he's filing for bankruptcy and that he's um he spent an insane amount of money on mobile games. Jeez. <laughs> mobile games are clearly a hell of a drug. Right, folks, I'm going to... It's getting to about then, of course, so I'm going to end the stream here. I'm a bit knackered. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, no, it's been fun. Thank you all so much for... um. Enjoying and staying around. 
yeah, no, it's been a good stream, and um, I should really try and do these more often because they're quite a lot of fun. So yeah. Uh, so I shall uh, see you. Um, hopefully, should have a video out Monday on um Japanese wrestling games, and mm. um, it hopefully I might even see some of you in the chat in a uh, Margate next weekend because that's where I'm going for Play Expo Margate. Oh, I do not be by the seaside. Down to Margit. Don't forget your bucket and spade, your cockles and all. Right, okay, guys, I'm going to go. So, yeah, I shall see you later. Take care. Bye, everybody. <sighs> Say good night, so. Hello. Say good night. Oh, good night. Yeah. Bye. Bye.